<laughs> Joseph, turn yourself in. That's what you best do. Turn yourself in, Joseph. And that ain't no lie. Turn yourself in. Call me. Turn yourself in. Today at noon on Fox 8, a grandfather of three children killed in a fire pleads with his son to surrender to police. Good afternoon, I'm Liz Reyes. That fire in New Orleans East killed two boys, ages eight and three, and a five-year-old girl. Andres Fuentes is live on America Street in the Plum Orchard neighborhood. Andres. Liz, you know, I've, I've been here all morning long and talking to a lot of the family members that have come by and they say the same thing. This is the worst day of their lives and neighbors tell me the same thing as well. This is a traumatic day for them. They're never, ever going to see the three children that used to play right here on this front lawn ever again. Now, according to the New Orleans Police Department, they are investigating this as a triple homicide and they did tell us early this morning uh, that they did get a 911 call from the mother of the three children as she was coming home from work. Uh, she told the police that uh, the father of the children were threatening to burn down the house and uh family members as well as neighbors uh, all identify that father as Joseph Washington. Now we also got surveillance video from a nearby neighbor which shows uh, a man coming out of the home down the steps and into a car then driving off as the house, the back of the house starts to catch on fire. Uh, that's the surveillance video that uh, police right now are looking into and uh, trying to identify whether or not that is Joseph Washington. Now According to the fire department, uh, firefighters rushed to the scene as soon as they got word that there was a fire here on the block. And they found uh, that neighbors were here rushing to the scene as well, trying to... Uh, get as many children out as possible because a lot of these neighbors are very close-knit. They knew that there were three children still inside. Um, they did their best. Uh, firefighters say that uh, they found uh, a five-year-old girl and an eight-year-old boy near the front door looking like they were uh, trying to open the front door actually to escape the flames. Um, they were quickly removed from the homes. Some neighbors and some fire officials Unfortunately, that's where they died. As far as the three-year-old boy, uh, fire officials tell me that he was in the middle of the house and it took firefighters longer to get inside because of the flames. And unfortunately, he died on the scene. I spoke to the Neighborhood Association president who really could not comprehend exactly what happened here. Uh, this tragedy struck her more than most. Take a listen. I have children. And it's a terrible way to lose your children. Yep. And it's a terrible, you know, you, you think you're leaving your family in the arms of the daddy that could do them some good justice. Look what happened. So something had to happen to him. Now, neighbor has been, neighbors in the area have been spending some time this morning trying to clean up uh, some of the supplies and emergency equipment that um, firefighters and police have left behind, as well as you're looking a live look right now at some of the balloons that people in the community have left behind as well for the family right here. I got word that most of the family still right now in the hospital grieving this loss, and uh, as we get more information about how they're doing, we'll be updating you on air and online, as well as the NOPD as they continue investigating uh, uh, this now triple homicide but we also got word from councilwoman helena moreno that the domestic violence vigil that will be happening outside of city hall this afternoon uh there will also be a portion dedicated to the three children who died here uh due to the fire and that all starting at four o'clock this afternoon but for now pointing live here in new orleans east back to you liz and andres i gotta ask you as more people show up at that scene how would you describe the mood their anger heartache uh, what are you hearing from people as news spread of this horrific incident you know like i said you know for the families for sure family members that have trickled in it's the worst day of their lives uh, a lot of these neighbors i got word that a lot of these homes were built at the same time and these neighbors moved in essentially at the same time so they all knew each other for years and years and years a lot of the children that they had grew up with the same three children here at the home speaking with some parents in the area they just, it, it hasn't really hit them yet. You know, they were supposed to be on the school bus today heading to school. And now they're getting word that, you know, the children that they used to wave to every morning, the children that used to play with their own children, the children that they used to do celebrations with for holidays and things like that, 
they're no longer with us. So it's it's been brutal, a brutal awakening for a lot of the people that live here in the area. Yeah, it's just de devastating. Thanks a lot. There. Over the senseless crime, the neighbor who gave us this ring camera video says she and her husband told firefighters there were children still inside when they first arrived. They also helped to perform CPR on two of the children. They were pulled out of the house. The neighbor who did not wish to be identified says she's known the three kids since they were born. She watched them grow over the years. She says she couldn't imagine losing her children in such a violent and senseless way. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. I just can't imagine being her right now and dealing with this, losing my children. Now we have reached out to the NOPD multiple times for more information on updates or a search for a suspect. So far, we've not heard back. If you do have any information on this, you're urged to call Crime Stop.